26 hits. I mean, that speaks volumes. It ties a, a Mountain West tournament record. I am happy that we finally got some offense. Uh, we just broke it down. I told our guys this is basically it's Falcon Field 2. Uh, elevation, the wind, this is similar to our ballpark with the turf surface. So uh, anything can happen in the postseason. Uh, it's great that our bats came alive because we have not been swinging the bats uh, particularly well at home uh, the last couple weekends of the year. So it was nice to see our kids attack. And uh, our mentality is one. Is one thing is it, is it is the mentality is to attack, whether it's on the baseball field, in, in the classroom, on the pitcher's mound, in the, in the batter's box. Uh, everything that we are going to do is in one mode that we are going to attack. Well, not only one or two guys heard that message. One through nine, you had guys contribute. That's got to make you feel really good. As good as anything that one through nine, you had guys hitting the baseball, scoring runs, and driving guys in. I, yeah, I haven't seen the box score yet, but uh, I'm thinking in my mind, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, everybody had a pretty good day. When you throw out 26 hits, uh, it's a good day. Um, also, along with that, Jacob DeVere, I thought, threw well for five and a third innings. Uh, only two hits uh, for a while there. They, they they scored more runs than the hits that they had. So our pitching was decent, other than the free passes that we we gave up. But um, you know, I, tremendous respect for UNLV and their program, their staff. I love those kids, and I love their staff very much. And I told them prior to the game and after the game, uh, after three hours, the game's over and shake their hands. Uh, it's all about competing and competition, uh, for, and for the student athlete to be able to come out here and perform, which is great in the postseason. And now you put the ball in the hands, I would assume, a Mountain West Pitcher of the Year, Co-Pitcher of the Year, and Griffin Jacks, a guy that uh, I think in a winner-take-all, one-on-one, one game-take-all, you liked giving him the ball tomorrow. This is a different position for us being in the winner's yeah. bracket since uh, we haven't really been there before. So in the winner's bracket and with our ace throwing tomorrow, we definitely do feel good. Uh, he is coming off of a short rest uh, from pitching last weekend, um, but there's nobody else I would rather have in this league to give the ball to than Griffin Jack. So we're pumped about that. If we could swing it the way we have been at least this game, um, hopefully good things will happen for the Falcons. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you very much.